Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I wanted to take a look at what happened in the United States election, Bush versus Gore. The reason I'm looking at that is because it was decided by the Supreme Court. I believe Gore did win the popular vote by around 500,000 votes. He, you know, genuinely won all those votes, popular vote, he got it, and yet Bush managed to win. And I watched a couple of small documentaries about that on YouTube, and I started looking at dates and matching things up, and it's really quite interesting as to what's going on. So the election then, I believe it was November 8, and I'll put up some diagrams as we go and things like that so you can see and follow along. November 8 in the year 2000 was when, and I still remember this, I remember I remember wanting Gore to win. Uh, I can say that now, you know, there's no election going on so I can show my bias and all that sort of stuff. Um, I did definitely want Gore to win. I remember I was finishing up at university and just about to start um, working out in the world and I remember all of this really well. November 8, 2000, the election result didn't really come through and it got decided 34 days later on December the 12th. So I had a look at that. I had a look at what was going on in the sky. I'm going to bring it up on the screen. And oh, hang on, I've got Donald Trump and Biden. I'll just bring up. Um, George W. Bush, I'll bring up him. And I'm just going to click through. I'm going to go back 20 years to when this happened. And if we have a look at the diagram that I'm going to put on the screen, you'll see that Pluto is opposite a retrograding Saturn and a retrograding Jupiter. The interesting thing here, what I saw, is it's, it's those three energies that I'm looking at. Um, because what I did then was I clicked up through the years and I looked at all the different American elections and I wanted to see is that time signature there or that planetary signature there. So it's not. Um, you know, it's this combination of Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn, I believe, that is causing the same effect today. So if we zoom up to modern times and we bring up, say, for example, I'm just gonna, I've got two charts here, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, we can bring them both up, both transit wheels up. But if you have a look, um, you'll notice that we've got, oh, hang on, bring up, I've got Joe Biden on my screen now, we'll bring him up. We've got Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto, all very close in the sky right now, um, causing this same effect. So I think we can safely say that that's uh, quite a pattern, which doesn't happen often because these are the, outer planets they're they're really far out there and you know this this trio only happens so often um you know you've got to go through quite a few years to get to it so back then in 2000 it was decided so the election was november 8 2000 it was decided december 12 that's 34 days later but it was just one state that they were contesting i remember it was florida um Whereas I think in this one, I haven't checked, but I believe it's, well, is it going to be Pennsylvania and other states that they're going to be contesting? I'm not sure. I am not up on the latest because today I have been doing readings and other things. But I thought I'd make this very quick video, four minutes in, that's not bad. Um, I had a look at both the charts of, say, for example, Trump and Biden. And what I can see here is that for Biden, it will be better for him, right? So let's look at in terms of when for both of them, when's it gonna be better um, in terms of when they're gonna figure it out. I do think for Biden, it'll be better if it's called 11th December onwards. So it's a similar sort of time frame to what was happening uh, in 2000 there. And it was good for Bush, actually. We can see that when we click up through the days, we can see that the delay helped him because it brought his Rahu closer to his natal sun. And I really think that was the thing that 
that made him a king. You know, Rahu and Nadal Sun, I think it's that position that was really strong uh, in his chart there. But if we have a look at Biden, I do think that, you know, last time in my November report, I had said that Venus would lose it for him because Venus is debilitated. Now, the delay brings Venus all the way up to being eighth from the moon, which is better, and his ascendant, right? So that's great for him. So it's great for Biden if the delay, if let's say, for example, the result comes 11 December onwards or around that time frame. Now for Trump, I do think that if the delay is quite massive, which it might be, uh, Again, I'm not sure about that. I'd have to do a lot more research and looking into it. But for Trump, it would work if the delay is quite big. And we're looking at kind of 1st January onwards. That's when he's got that Carl Sarpa in the sky, which is when he seems to profit uh, you know, across his lifetime. That's quite an established pattern that I've been able to see. But I just thought I'd share these little insights with you just to give you an update as to what's going on. I was supposed to record uh, another episode of my element series. Last time we looked at fire and then I think last week I didn't post anything except for one pick a card. And then this week I'm now making this video. So what's happening? Well, I've just been a little bit uninspired to be perfectly honest. I've been busy doing readings, number one. Last week, I think I was a bit run down, I had a bit of a headache, so I took some time out. This week, I was going to do the Earth episode, but then because of the election, I kind of feel like, I, I just feel like it won't get that many views. I don't know, I'll, I'll do it next week, I think. But tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll record a pick a card, and we are going to look at uh, Mother Earth's message for us. So if you're enjoying that series, then please come to the channel and watch that. I can't wait to make that one because one of the things that I have been doing personally is I've been lying on the earth. I take my beach blanket out onto the grass and I lie on the earth for like 20 minutes every day when it's sunny as a meditation. And it's really, really good. It's really helping me. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. We're at the seven minute mark. I'm going to put the hashtag on this love wins as well the reason i'm going to do that is because there's another message that i just wanted to share with you very quickly which was to say that what i believe the powers that be have always really wanted us to do and they've been conditioning us to do this over the last many decades they keep asking us to go out and vote right they keep saying have you voted go out and vote and they get celebrities to do these cool things and go out and vote and do this and do that and I was thinking about this the other day and I thought yeah they really really want us to vote but they don't care who we vote for and what I see here is that they want people to be invested when you put your vote in it's a creative act it's kind of like shopping shopping is like a modern act of creativity these days for a lot of people, right? Um, it used to be that we would bake cakes and draw and create music and all that kind of thing. But over the years, over the decades, we've just become consumers. And now we've all become voters. And it, you know, the powers that be want us to vote. Make sure you vote. Have you voted? Go and vote. I was thinking about this and I thought, yeah, what they want, they don't care which way we vote. What they really want is that we invest some of our opinion, our creative energy, our, we invest a little bit of ourselves in that act and we become attached. And then we end up divided. And I believe that to transform the system, because in the next couple of years, we're in a massive phase of transformation and change and the breaking down of an old world order in order to, for humanity to win, right? Love has to win. So I'm gonna use the hashtag love wins. This is also the hashtag being used by a video from the New Earth Project people. I've been watching their content a lot and it's fantastic. But that is really 
what we need to do. So yes, we can vote, but the way to buck the system, the way to not fall into the trap that is being set for us is to vote, but then to love our neighbor who votes differently to us or to find a way to like the other party or the other person or the, you know, let's not fall into the trap of being divided because that is what they want. And if we don't do that, right, if we can, you know, find it in ourselves to always be kind and compassionate and respectful to the person who thinks opposite to us, then that's going to take us a long way. So I think I'm going to leave it there. We're at the 10 minute mark, but thank you so much for tuning in. Type in the hashtag love wins uh, into the search bar and you will come across some really nice content by the new earth people. So stay tuned tomorrow for a pick a card reading. I hope it's going to be a good one and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.